When I was going for money with my partner years ago, when I first moved to Texas, he ran a, a large hardware business. And he was very successful for 10 years in business. And he had great financials for the business. He didn't own the business, but he managed the business. So that experience was a block that the bank would check off and say, hey, that's great. Number two, he had some skin in the game. That's what they look for. If you go for 100% financing, it's very difficult, hardly possible. So we, as a partnership, we had 10% down at least. 20% is what they wanted, and we could we got that, you know, 20%. They like that. They like to see that you're taking a risk. A little skin in the game. You know, Skin in the game, they say. exactly. Or sweat, or sweat equity, as, as they say, right, Jerry? Right, so they look for your experience. They, they have the checkoffs to reduce their risk because they, most of the time they're going to sit down with a board at the bank and they're going to make a decision. And they have a lot of people wanting money. Now, certain industries are harder to get money for. For example, the restaurant industry has a higher failure rate, so it's hard to go to lenders and ask for money if that's not their, if they don't like doing business with restaurants or auto, used auto car dealerships. So you have to know who you're going to. You have to have good financials. You have to have a good financial plan. These are all the things that will increase the odds of you getting funding. And that's the stuff we do with people that are starting out. Often their hobby turns out to be a business and they're serious. They're willing to take their house and get a second mortgage because they believe so strongly in their business. Right, and you've got some equity, you know, your, your home that you could put as collateral. And you had mentioned a few minutes ago that, how long have you been doing this? 